And here we are setting out on part two of today's hike, Sequoia Gap to Yellow Creek Gap. And we have a really nice view to start with. The trail seems to have been relocated here due to road construction. And indeed, the trail has been rerouted here a little bit. If you're coming southbound into Sequoia Gap, you would have normally went that way. Road construction ahead. Expect delays and pay attention to traffic. More little trees coming out in leaf. Blowing around on this cold, windy day. Here at the top of the mountain near Stokoa Gap, or near the top of the mountain, it has turned into a misty, foggy forest. Trail steep. But we're making it. More of the misty, eerie looking forest. And I think we made the top of the mountain. visibility today but it's still pretty does, doesn't it? <laughs> it does indeed look like a swamp monster. the path to Brown Fork Gap Shelter, Yellow Creek Mountain Road, 5.2 miles that way. There's a tiny little campsite right here, just past that intersection with Brown Fork Shelter. I'm not sure, I think this might be a locust tree, and if so, it is the biggest locust tree I have ever seen. It does look like locust bark. Look, I found Rosie in the locust tree right under the little mushroom village. I am going to call this one the Buddha tree. It looks kind of like a little Buddha right there. today shrouded in the fog are just like a fantasy land. This tree is 
pretty cool. It fell up the hill. Looks like it was growing just on rock pretty much. There's really not much soil under those roots. That's some really cool walking today. There's a lot of Spanish moss on these small trees, which seems kind of unusual, but the fog and mist on it's making them really cool. The trail's kind of varied today. Some of it's rocky. Right now we're pushing through this Mountain Laurel and Rhododendron Thicket. We've got to walk through a little channel in the rock. This should be interesting. you doing that like a champ. Your shoes are not so. We've got a small campsite here with just about four miles to go. Big, huge down tree in the campsite. Really cool hollow down in this tree. Quite a lot of green briar on this ridge in spots, so later hikers better hope the trail maintenance people come through before them, or they may get some scratched up legs. We are at Hogback Gap, pretty cool place, a uh, little campsite. Got a nice log to sit on, and on the other side, somebody's made benches to sit on. Nice resting spot. But we're moving on today, because it's cold. Pretty hard to read the sign for this gap. Yep, we just came up that jumbled mass of rock. That was the trail. And now pretty quickly it's back to just walking through rhododendron thickets again. Definitely very terrain today. We have had several of these scree fields to cross today. Makes hiking a little slower. Maintainers cut this one out a little bit to make it easier to pass over. We 
have a nice campsite here at Cody Gap. Nice campsite right up here on top of this knoll. Probably a mile and a half or so in from Yellow Gap, Yellow Creek Gap. We are about half a mile out. appear to be an old logging road here perhaps the trail goes that way nice little spring flowing right here before the gap there's a little salamander here but I think he's dead I don't see any movement Got a few steps to go down. And there's the car. Yay! Right. 